Yo, 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 we back once again with the True Hip Hop Podcast. It's your boy DJ Blaze. And that guy again. Wolverine, we back for episode 85. 85. Live and exclusive. What up, Hey, do you know we make it better, Blaze? We We make make this channel better every time we do it. But before we get started, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Right now. Like, comment, and share. Right now. It helps us out tremendously on the algorithm. Yes, you got to put it on you. <laughs> Me and Wolf appreciate all the love y'all been giving us, but you ain't been subscribing, so hit that bell. Bing. <laughs> Notification. We're there. Make sure it's all notifications, too. But yo, me and Will about to dive right into this high content, man. Yesterday in TMZ, Snoop Dogg was in there, man. It says Snoop Dogg is being sued for the alleged sexual assault of a woman in California in 2013. Hold on, Blaze. Mm-hmm. Let's give Snoop his, his, his flowers first. No, we, we are going to give Let's him give his flowers no, first. But then, you know, this, this is in, his, in the story, too. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But it says right. um, they uh, they TMZ re- revealed that uh, documents of an actor, model, dancer identified as Jane Doe. She attended Snoop Dogg's concert on May 29th and 2013. You know what I'm saying? But the lawsuit associated with Bishop Don Juan took her to his home against her will. The following morning, he removed his penis from his pants and forced his penis into her mouth. Then the next day, according to the lawsuit, Don Juan allegedly took her to Snoop's studio where she said she had been cornered into the bathroom stall and forced into oral sex. Snoop Dogg allegedly proceeded to masturbate and ejaculated on her upper chest and lower neck. After seeing Snoop Dogg obtain death row records, which is a great accomplishment, she um, it triggered thoughts and uh, she's seeing him about to perform at the halftime Super Bowl and it triggered thoughts of the alleged rape and she's now sold for $9 million, man. You know? Mm. So this is... Congratulations, Snoops, on obtaining death row. Definitely, congrats. You know, he got the brand in the master. He yeah. said he's going to work on his story of his documentary of his life, you know, of death row and the beef with Suge Knight. Mm, and all he got this power stuff. now. He got power now. Because <laughs> uh, Suge Knight out the picture. Out the picture, he got power now. <laughs> That's what's, what's stopping it. It was, yeah. it was him. But yeah, man, but this alleged rape, Wolverine, man, with him and Bishop Don Juan, man, what do you make it is? Now, what the fuck is 2013, you say? She's, it triggered her after she is. Hold on, 2013 is when this happened, right? Yes. So 19 years ago. <laughs> yeah. No, no, excuse me. Excuse me. 13, 14, yeah. 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. Nine, nine years, years ago. ago, excuse me, nine years ago. Because that's just confusing how all of a sudden, all these previous sexual assault, and then she's suing. She not, there's no criminal. Right. I don't believe it. If it is no criminal pursuit of it, I don't believe it. You don't it. think it happened? I don't think it's happened. Because you didn't report it. Man, I think it happened. But she's, she like she said, it triggered her when she obtained the death row records and is performing in the Super Bowl. This is a money grab again. She came to his people and said, I want $9 million. Snoop was like, nah, you ain't getting nothing. No. So she publicized it. So she publicized it. And filed a suit against them. But do you see he got money now? Now you want some of that pie. That's what it's about. I think Bishop Don Juan and Snoop, they probably did run a train on her or something. You know what I'm saying? But she yeah. agreed to it. Yeah. But now she want to call it race. Because you would have said something that night, man. I don't believe nothing that happened 20 years ago, man. Nine man. years ago. You want a million dollars for each year? She want nine million dollars. For consensual sex, man. That's a, lot of these, a lot of these women coming back and talking about consensual sex was rape. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's what they're doing, the, and that's and that what got me all screwed up. Cause now it was consensual, but now that you feel like that, you know, your will has ran dry, you want to make it seem like it's an assault and rape. Right. You, you can, 
Is is not only that, ain't this a statue of limitation on something? No, else? that's how they got Bill Cosby. There's no statute of limitation. She can say it any time. That's how they got Bill. But you gotta have. Well, what prosecutor are really pursuing yeah. these fucking charges? They, there's no prosecutor because it's civil suit. They right. they asking for money. Right. So she going. Bill there. Cosby was more of a criminal. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Anybody just these civil suits. I'm not listening to. Yeah, yeah me either. Like, we throw yeah, that throw out. out. We throw them out. Them out. If you're not pursuing <laughs> criminal suit where you really, you know, can show trauma and show really reflection of being right. raped, then yeah, then we ain't believing it. I'm not believing. I'm sorry. I mean, you especially know, this, when you're asking purpose. for millions of dollars. Yeah, man. you ask for Every money. Every time, man. You're not asking for retribution on far as criminal conviction. You more want they want money. money. Every every last one. Trey songs. Chris Brown. Every on Snoop Diddy Yacht. Dog. They just have it on Diddy Yacht. <laughs> <laughs> they just nah. have it on Diddy Yacht. Uh, uh, what was the island? No, nah, it was at uh, Don Juan Apartment. Yeah, man. but they were with you. What was the island? Yeah, uh, 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 this was it on the island, man. This yeah. was at uh, Bishop Don Juan Crib. Yeah, man. I don't believe it if it's not in the mm. process of criminal suit. So they, they just out there money chasing. And making it too easy. She ejaculated on her chest and neck. Man, they're making it too. But congratulations, Snoop. <laughs> man, you did you did that. That's what you said your goal was and something you Yeah, he to did do. say that when he was um congratulations, uh, on the breakfast my club. Dude. He said like he'd rather have Death Row than Death Jam. Yeah. You know, because he built uh Death Row. Yeah. And that's a good look. Like I wanna see all this. Too stuff bad come Pac out. went alive, y'all could have really been on some things out there. That was another thing they was talking about the beef with Pac, man. It was like, man, before he died, they had beef. Because yeah, because Pac, they said Snoop went and did, well, did the what, radio show with Angie Martinez. And didn't say, didn't say that he ain't got no beef with uh, Biggie and, and yeah. Benny. But he didn't. <laughs> Why would you say you have beef with somebody that right. you don't have beef with? You got problems with this dude, my dude. Yeah, that's you what know? I thought Tupac and was I, And Tupac and Snoop wasn't convinced that Big E, like he said, they didn't have nothing to do with that. So why will I be mad at them? And I know they ain't had nothing to do with that. Right. Just becoming you coming up with something fictional and letting Suge feed this fire. Right. right. Why should I be involved in with this, man? Right. Yeah. And I think Tupac was both. I'm correct. getting out of death row already right now, mm -hmm. my dude. You still in death row and you trying to side up with it. And, you know, Pac was delusional, man. Yeah. Believe it or not, he was delusional. Yep. I agree with that one. But yeah, man, we got to move on, though, man. Y'all comment below, man. Let us know about what y'all think about the alleged rape of um, Snoop Doggy Dog and Bishop Down Juan and him obtaining death row records, man. Comment below. Give my hand clap. We got to move on to other hip-hop news, man. Yesterday in the Double XL magazine, the baby was in there, you know, and he got in a fight with Danny Lay's brother. You know, not only is the baby being investigated for assault following his fight with Danny Lay's brother, but the rapper and his crew have been banned from the bowling alley where the brawl took place. Though it was previously unknown which bowling, bowling establishment it was, uh, where the altercation was in Los Angeles, TMZ now reports that the bowling alley in California prohibits, prohibits the baby from coming back to the premises. You know, why was dude there anyways? He was bowling. He, he was got, bowling. That's yeah. his city. In Los Angeles, he lived in Los Angeles. But dude caught a fade, man, because he was talking reckless, man, on the internet when the baby kicked Danny yeah. out of his crib. Yeah. And he got on the internet saying, when he see him, he gonna beat his ass. He gonna catch these paws. It's on for you. So, so it was on site when the baby hit the bowling alley. He seen the mark and was like, there he go. He fired on him. We seen the video. He stole on him. Then it was a big bra. They did grab him by his braids and tossed him onto that bowling alley. I don't care if it was slippery. He was getting tossed around and baby, like a baby rag got a doll. Couple shots and in baby the... was like, lack, lack. Lack, lack. You know I mean, that <laughs> baby with his crew, he knew he going he to squab up right there. Where your guys at? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You you there, you there talking all this reckless shit. You should not be down there by yourself. And then he want to get on there and say he would have won if it was one-on-one. -on -one. Ain't going to be no one-on-one, -on -one, <laughs> dude. You, you fool. It's not going to be no one-on-one. -on -one. It's not going to be a one-on-one -on -one couple. Simple fact that not going to let you get the best of him. Mm -hmm. No matter what. That's their money. 
So they tried to cancel him again, saying he's too old to be fighting. They say he's 30 years old, trying to act like he's 19, like Roddy Rich and the baby. And they say he's too old to be out here fighting. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. oh, I ain't listening to that canceling crap, man. Yeah. And they really trying to get rid of the baby for some reason. They trying no, to get... Yeah. Baby, baby trying to get rid of himself. No, he not, man. He always been like this. He go, How many times he got in a fight in the shoe store? He actually killed the dude on the highway. You know what I'm saying? That's nothing to glorify, though. But I know it's not. But he's really about that life, though. About what, what I'm saying, though. You know? It's like you going to encounter those type of people. You need to grow up now. Yeah. I understand at a certain point. Yeah. And it's just yeah. certain it's, things. He's, but you losing money from you it. You lose. Yeah. When you start taking money out of Big your kid's time. mouth, and it's just even it's yeah. just time consuming, time wasted. Yeah. Because they don't want you to do concerts no more. Now they ain't gonna stream your album because they say, oh, don't listen to him. They really on his head, man, with the council culture on him, man. They don't like what he doing, man. The higher ups is trying to get rid of him, man. He gotta calm down. He gotta... Yeah, before you get assassinated. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Damn. You understand it? Listen, I'm telling you, <laughs> they gonna cancel you. Cancel. They gonna down the man. Slow it down. They gonna cancel you. Cancel you. Yeah. They gonna let Danny Lane brother <laughs> get some hold or something catch you slipping, my nigga. Yeah, he'll be the fall guy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's time to chill out, man. Because he, he he had a run, man. We went to his concert and everything. He had a good run. But I now, went to two of his concerts. Now it's more like Roddy Rich and all of them coming through, you know, taking over that little spot right there. You know? Roddy Rich already been coming through, taking over that spot. But he grows a nice little amount of chicken. But yeah, so the baby, he got to uh, grow up right now. Yeah. But I understand what him, my man was there, cause he, they, I'm quite sure they promoted the baby gonna be there, right? So my man just came there knowing that the he baby was, was gonna there. be there. He was already there, but yet it's still Blaze. He was already there waiting on the baby because he knew the baby was gonna be there. He said he wanted to fight him anyway. So you went there already waiting on the baby, knowing that he's gonna be here. Cause I mean, what, yeah, what's the odds of him really wanna go to that club that night to go bowling, doing that, <laughs> that shit at that point? Yeah. Like for real, what's the odds of him and all of a sudden it's surprising that he don't know the baby showing another, up. Might be another publicity stunt, man. It's Cause he want to be a rapper now. But he got lumped up. Yeah. He see him being lumped up, man. To music after this. Yeah, your your career is over. But y'all come with me on, man. Don't talk no hard shit. Now you better, Let us know you what y'all think. Switch over to gospel. <laughs> About the baby <laughs> being a Sing Danny us. Danny Lay brother, man. Man, you do a Nelly. Turn over now. You gonna swing rap country? Yeah. But don't rap no game. <laughs> but we gotta move on, man, to other hip hop news, man. Yesterday in DX Magazine, man, Yo Gotti, man, he has announced the winner of the Dollar for Dollar Challenge. Ten percent. And he <laughs> he picked ten percent, which is already signed to CMG. You know, so it was a big bamboozle. You know, he finessed everyone. You know, but he said y'all can have a track. Anybody can upload it, you know, get the money off of it. He on the masters, so y'all can do what y'all want to do with this track. But the person he picked, man, it was already rigged, man. And it was way more people that was spitting on that dollar for dollar challenge, man. Like the girl from TikTok, she spazzed out, man. They already made her own challenge on there. So I would have gave it to her. And it was a couple other dudes, man, that was on there and that sounded good. But Wolverine, what do you think about it being rigged? Man, rigged or the track? First, how it's being rigged. How it's being rigged? I, I, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I mean, shit, Young Dolph ain't there. Young Dolph was really giving out the little chicken and the cheddar and that. Yeah, that's what the comments were saying. You know what I'm saying? How so, Dolph was really the one. It was really the one, anyways. You know, they, they old gimmick shit, man. Yeah, that's as foul as ever because, like, you know, <laughs> artists take they, you know, take that opportunity like huge. Like, okay, yeah. we can really use this beat and we can market ourselves on this beat. You and think you gonna get signed for five hundred thousand to uh, CMG? You know, everybody thought they was gonna get signed, man. He had the money all up. But you there. know that five hundred thousand just an advancement. Right. So you got to pay it back. 
Right, and um, they don't do he already gave like it that. to dude already, so he yeah, really... Yeah, he already got his advancement. Because <laughs> he so, had his little chain So on. what he probably did is took that track and knocked off a little bit of uh, his advancement money. Probably like, man, I'm only giving you 100K Damn. of that advancement. Knocked off. Yeah, because he had the car and the jewelry. That's his advance right there. Man, really? The little video he had on. And then what do you think about the song? Do you think it's fire? <laughs> no, the beat is fire though. The beat is fire, but his track ain't fire, man. He he he's saying the same thing that I heard a million artists say. Right. Thirty steps, Steph Curry, Steph Curry, Steph Curry in the clip. clip. Uh, this shit was really basic. It wasn't yeah, nothing. He came out like, uh, yeah, I like heard, his, it, I heard it, it was nothing it. worth. I don't see where it, he, out of all these people who really put out <laughs> tracks, that was really the fire one to you. <laughs> You know, it wasn't. I think it was a marketing. And with my man, it was from, marketing with my man for, um, from Memphis. Um, yeah, it was a marketing thing for um, that track. For the track, for the artist, ten percent, because he ain't had no nothing. But now they like damn ten percent. And that thing, that gets me. Another thing gets me. Like ten percent. Dog, what on. happened to the ninety? Yeah. <laughs> what happened to the ninety? I have no idea, man. It was really ten percent, man, because that that track was like ten percent. Yeah, man. man, that that was man. a gag right I there, see. man. That track was, and he wasn't even spitting fire. I could, I couldn't even say that was fire, bro. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even remotely say that was fire to make me be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna repeat that. Like, oh, this Steph yeah. he said the same thing that a lot about a million other tracks have been on there. Everybody say Steph Curry in the clip. Right. Uh, oh, okay, thirty in the clip. Okay, what else, my nigga? You ain't said nothing new. Right, it man. wasn't nothing far, nothing no like no hard bars or nothing, and he rapping like his bars was hard. Right, like dude, do you see that dude rapping on that joint on when it's winning, man? His bars are not hard, uh, man. Yeah, I ain't think so either, man. man I felt nah. the girl that did the TikTok video was the hardest one. I would have put her on there definitely. She spit the real fire Bro. with the beat with him with the uh, Yo Gotti verses coming in and out. That was much better. So you bring, you could have had a real artist, man, but y'all want to be on some industry fuckery shit, man. He probably end up going to sign her and doing a remix. Man, I would He probably end up signing her and doing a remix. I not sign to none hey, of these people, See, because, yeah, I wouldn't sign to him either. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't sign to him. But he just signed Mozzie, though. That was a good look, but I don't know if it was or not, man. Well, it's yet to see. If he, he probably got a partnership with Mozzie or something, because Mozzie, I thought Mozzie was independent. Mozzie was independent. I don't know, man. They no, was, he wasn't. He was on the ruckus. They, they always want to go for the money grab with the label. They always see that upfront money. That's what it be, and they sign to another artist. You get that, y'all? No. And then they end up signing another deal, trying to catch up on that. Mm -hmm. Signing away they masters. All right, man, we got to move on to the shout-outs, man. I want to give a big shout-out to Missy Elliott. She has now become the first female rapper to, to have the most platinum records. She has six platinum albums. As to the Round of effect. applause, Missy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Some fan mail. This one for you, Wolverine. Dominique from, um, from New York asked, where did you get the uh, moniker, that guy again? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, you know what? I don't even know. I oh just, my goodness! I just, you know, when I ask, just so it happens I answer the phone and just it's that guy again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know. It just came came to part, man. This years ago. Yeah, you know, man. The first it, time I ever heard you say it, when you came back from Philadelphia and we was playing Madden. Madden. Oh and, yeah, yeah. When it was to <laughs> Sarah, Owens, yeah. and he was like, "That's that the guy." Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's the first time I ever remember word, you hear word, you say word. it. Because man, that's man, that's centuries old, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's just been just a thing that I say. And um, word though. Keisha We're looking from, out, Dominique. Though that's where you know from generations. Keisha from um, Houston says. Blaze, where are you guys from? You guys sound like you're from New York. 
Nah, baby girl, we from Michigan. I'm a Floyd Mayweather. Capital M I. She going to Barge and Dina, Howard L. Green, and many more, man. Many more, many more. A lot of dark, man. We got plenty of Willie the Kid. Grand Rapids, Michigan, baby. Yeah, Grand Rapids, Michigan. That's our city. Salute to my city. To my city. Make sure y'all stream the album, Gun Roots Finest Part 3, The Movement. Be on the lookout for Alpha King. Alpha King coming fire. Ooh, ooh, y'all gonna love this one. Pick up the movement, cause it keeps moving to the Alpha King. Subscribe to the channel, man. We out of here. One love. Peace. Peace.